In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily record a really high quality sounding podcast voiceover on your Mac Mini M1 or really any computer. So let's get into it. How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua and this is the Rode NT-USB Mini, which is my current favorite USB microphone. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. This microphone kind of changed my perception of how I use microphones with my computer, especially when I pair it with my Mac Mini M1. And I'm happy to say that the Rode NT-USB Mini microphone works perfectly with the M1. I haven't had any weirdness or, you know, any error or anything you just plug it in and it just works totally fine and you're actually hearing the audio from the Rode NT-USB mini right now it connects via USB-C which is also really easy for connecting it to you know even your iPad Pro shout out to Rode for sending me this unit and also sending me one of their new products they have a new product called colors which is basically these little caps that you can put on top of your Rode NT-USB mini and then there's also little color coated kind of clips that you can put on the cable as well. This is what these look like. They're pretty cool. They just go right on top of the microphone. First of all, I like the way my Rode looks with this little cap on it. It's like me you know, wearing my orange cap. So I think it just looks cool. So what are these even used for? Why would you need to put caps on your microphone besides it looking really cute? Let's say you wanted to do a podcast with, you know, two, three, or even up to four people. You can put a color-coded cap on top of four NT-USB minis, and then you can record four microphones at the same time and even color coordinate them with a new app that Rode dropped for free. It's called Rode Connect. I'll leave a link to this app App in the description it is free for Mac and PC and what this app does is it connects up to four Rode NT-USB mini microphones into your computer so that you can record four different microphones at the same time so if you're doing a interview with one other person you could color coordinate your Rode NT-USB mini with the orange and then you could have like the second one on your mic number two and then you can even coordinate that with the different colors in the app so let's cut over to my computer and I'll do like a test record and show you the features of this app because it is really, really cool. When you first open Rode Connect, it looks kind of like this. You'll see your NT-USB mini. So if you click on the microphone, you'll see that the LEDs will actually flash. So when I was showing you those Rode colors, things. This is where those come in handy. So you can see that there's the pink, green, blue, and orange. And since I'm using the orange cap on the Rode NT-USB mini in front of me, you just drag this onto that space. And now you can see that microphone number four is the Rode NT-USB mini with the orange cap. And then you click next. And then here's where you can add virtual channels. So you can have your system audio in channel one, for example, and then virtual audio. System audio is basically the audio that you hear, like if you were playing a YouTube video or music or something in the background, I'm gonna demonstrate that in a second. And then virtual is if you wanted a specific app to like route its audio to the Rode Connect system. So once you click finish, you get into this screen, which is the main recording screen. So over here, you can see number four is my microphone and you can see the green is indicating my levels. So I can actually take this down or pull it back up or even make it a little louder if I want it to be louder. And if you tap on the four on your like microphone icon, you get this screen where you can change your level of your microphone in even more precise increments if you want. And there's also these effects over here, noise gate, which will take away some of the noise in the background. A compressor will just give a little extra, just kind of beef to your sound. The exciter will give you even more of that like S's and the T's, like it just sounds like a more kind of edgy sound. And then the big bottom with that hilarious name will give you a deeper kind of podcasty kind of depth to your voice. I have all those enabled right now, but you can easily just unclick those if you just wanna hear what the microphone sounds like without any of the effects. And this is what it sounds like unprocessed straight out of the microphone. So if I add the big bottom, it now sounds like this. You might be able to hear more of the bass notes in my voice. And then if I add the exciter, you will probably hear more of the S's and the T's and it just sounds more present. The compressor kind of thickens the audio. And then if you add the noise gate, 
you'll hear less of the background noise. So all four of those combined together, I think sound really good out of the box. Some people might think the compressor is making it sound almost too beefy, like a little too present. So you might want to turn the compressor off if you want just kind of a more slightly more natural sound. But I kind of like it on, you know, I think it sounds really, really good. But you do have to watch your audio levels because you can really easily go into that red zone and then you'll have kind of clipping audio. So let's say I was about to record a podcast and I wanted to have some background music kind of fade in and you know introduce the podcast so i have a song over here it's a song called red river check it out on spotify and apple music shameless plug so in order to get that song's audio into this system volume section right here in road connect i go over to my sound settings and then i click on road connect system so i have the volume all the way down here for system and i'm going to play this song and bring up some music a really old beat that I made many years ago that actually turned into a song by Zebra Cats. Shout out Zebra Cats. So with those settings alone, you can just start recording your podcast right from there just by pressing this giant green record button. And I really like how big that button is in the UI. I like the giant numbers as well. Rode does a pretty good job of updating their firmware for all of their products. And you can actually update your firmware in your Rode NT-USB mini within the Rode Connect app, which I would highly recommend to get all the newest features and stuff. Let's pretend that I'm gonna record an actual podcast. So I'm just gonna improvise something and make up the most ridiculous stuff just to show you how easy it is to record your own podcast. So first of all, I would press record over there. And while you're recording, you can even press this blue button and that'll set a marker, like a timestamp within your file. So if something awesome happens and you're like, oh, that was a really cool part, you can actually press that blue flag up there and it will set a marker in your recording, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm recording and I'm gonna start my music here and let's do a fake podcast, shall we? What's going on everybody? It is Ben Aqua and you are listening to my fake podcast where I just talk about whatever I want in the moment. I'm making this up right now just to show you the Road Connect app, but damn, I just feel so motivated to talk about graveyards and orange peels right now. Graveyards and orange peels. Why were those the first two things to come to my head? In this recording, I'm not going to disclose that information that is highly classified, but really, graveyards are very dark. You know, they're very dark in ways more than one. I'm going to fade this audio out here. So now let's talk about orange peels and graveyards. You know, what if you had a bunch of orange peels and you were sitting in a graveyard at 3 a.m. and you're alone because of COVID? Do you need to wear a mask? If you're surrounded by ghosts in a graveyard, can you get COVID from ghosts in a graveyard? But this is just a fake podcast about graveyards and orange peels. And then stop your recording and that's it. You have a podcast. <laughs> this app is definitely kind of basic and not in a bad way. You know, it's designed very cleanly and it's very minimal. However, if I were to change anything about the app, I think it'd be really cool to be able to change the threshold of the noise gate, to change the amount of the compressor so you can turn it up, turn it down. You know, maybe even just some basic controls, I think for each one of these effects would really help kind of craft a more professional experience. But I'm not complaining because this app is free and the microphone is only $100 and it sounds fantastic. You've been hearing it this entire video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the audio quality because I think this microphone, especially for $100, is one of the best sounding microphones at this price range, if not the best. So really, it's that easy, a plug and play option to record a really high quality podcast or a voiceover. You could even use this app to record, you know, vocals for a song or something. I love the built-in plugins. They actually sound really good. And it really turns this tiny mic into a podcast recording beast. And if you have any questions for me on recording a podcast with your Mac Mini M1 or any other computer or whatever, Hit me up in the comments. I love to see y'all down there. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.